Hi, welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. Today, I want to go over carbohydrates and how they affect your breathing. Now, to fully understand carbohydrates and the effect that they have on your body, you need to start thinking about food as fuel for your body rather than, ooh, that looks good, I, I think I want that, or that smells good, I'm gonna eat that. Because what, we, what our brain thinks of as food is not really what our body thinks of as food, if that makes any sense. Um, everybody you know, that I know has just gotten used to just eating whatever they want. If you're busy, you know, you're gonna eat what's quick rather than what's good for you. And so, you know, most people don't eat the way we should. So I'm gonna go over how the carbohydrates actually break down in your body, okay? So remember, we're thinking of our body, we're thinking of our body being something that we need to fuel in order to work. So the fuel is going to be what we eat, okay? So I made a little note here, um, oxygen combined with the food that we eat, these things are the raw materials of energy, okay? So we have the oxygen that we're breathing in, we have the food that we eat. Now, the product of the oxygen plus the food is energy and carbon dioxide. So the energy, of course, we all understand that, that's why we eat because we need the energy and the fuel to keep going throughout the day. The carbon dioxide, you know, that's just a natural waste product of food, okay, and what we eat. And for most of us, it doesn't really affect us too much, but if you're somebody who suffers from breathing trouble, especially COPD, this can be a big deal. So um, basically, I just have written on here, this is metabolism, in a nutshell, okay? Um, so the thing with the carbohydrates is that carbohydrates will break down into more carbon dioxide than what a fat or a protein will, okay? So this is where the whole problem with carbohydrates start. If you have COPD, your body will naturally start to retain carbon dioxide so we don't want any more carbon dioxide than what we absolutely have to have, right? So that's one reason to just cut out carbs completely. Now, I do know that a lot of people that have breathing problems that do cut out carbohydrates and go on what's called a ketogenic diet benefit immensely from that. Um, but there are some people that just cannot tolerate cutting carbs completely out, and that someone is like me. I've tried the ketogenic diet before, and I did feel great on it, but, you know, sometimes I just feel like I would like to eat some carbs. So I've made a list here of some good carbs and bad carbs. Obviously, the bad ones are going to be the simple sugars. So you've got anything sugary, sugary food, sugary drinks. Um, even, you know, those awesome coffee drinks that everybody loves these days, you want to make sure that you're ordering it with stevia um, and maybe even replacing the milk that's in it with almond milk. Um, there are some cereals that are not very good for you, simple carbs. Now, as far as what you can eat, I've got them up here. So if you're really craving a carbohydrate, you can eat a potato, sweet potato or baked potato with the skin on. You can also have bran of any kind, oats, peas, and lentils. Now there are other complex carbs that some people are okay to eat. Um, it really just depends on how your body reacts to it. But a good rule is that if you're going to be eating carbs, you either want to have carbs that are already high in fiber, or you want to add something high in fiber to what you're eating, okay? And that's because for net carbs, I'm gonna bring this back up here to show you. Carbohydrates minus the amount of fiber equal net carbs. So say you're going to be looking at the back of a package that you're getting ready to eat. Um, let's say pasta, okay? It's gonna tell you how many carbohydrates are in it. It's also gonna tell you how much fiber is in it. So you take that number, subtract the fiber, and that's gonna give you your net carbs. 
we want net carbs to be as low as possible. So that's why I'm saying if you are going to eat carbs, either make sure that it has fiber in it or just eat something with fiber to kind of help that along to make the net carbs go down a little bit. Now, I'm gonna tell you a really good smoothie that you can incorporate. Um, and well, actually, before I do that, a lot of people ask me about fruit, okay? Fruit, especially, you know, it's grown from the ground, it's all natural, it is good for you. I'm not gonna tell you not to eat fruit because fruit has a lot of nutrients and antioxidants that your body needs. So, even though I'm saying you may wanna cut down on the donuts, you can eat the fruit, okay? Some fruit is worse than others. You know, um, apples, they have a ton of sugar. Um, but if you wanna go with fruit, the best thing is the berries. So you have the blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, all of those are full of antioxidants. So if you're needing something sweet, go for those. That's, that's what you want right there. Um, so I'm gonna read off some ingredients for an awesome low carb, healthy for your lungs smoothie, okay? And I'm also gonna put them up on the screen here as well. But you'll start off with a cup of almond milk, one fresh ripened banana, and I'll tell you, I like my bananas frozen. It's totally up to you, but I feel like um, my smoothies are more of milkshake type drinks um, if, I, if it's frozen. So I always freeze my bananas. Um, one and a half cups of frozen blueberries, one half cup of frozen raspberries. And then if you wanted to add some nuts for some good rich protein there, um, you can add some walnuts or pecans or something like that. Now you just put that in a blender, mix it up and you've got an awesome either meal replacement or a good smoothie for breakfast, something like that. Um, I recommend, you know, a lot of smoothies have the juice, of course, I recommend using almond milk or oat milk because that's gonna have a lot less carbs in it because let's face it, juice just really isn't that healthy for you. Um, if you are gonna drink juice, it needs you need to make sure that it's not from a concentrate and um, has no sugar added. Those are the big things there with the juice. So um, when you're making smoothies, if you get a good recipe, you can always replace the juice with an almond milk and I actually use the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It gives it just a tiny bit of flavor and it's awesome. I've switched my kids to it and they all love it as well. So, um, so we've gone over carbs and why we want to take them out of our diet. So I kind of want to touch base with what you want in your diet, okay? Because you have to eat. So. Um, if you're going to be cutting back on your carbs, you want to try to add in some healthy fats and some good sources of protein. So these would be avocados, um, salmon, turkey, chicken, you know, you have your lean proteins there are really good for you. Um, and any kind of lean red meat is good also because you're going to get that um, good fat there and the protein is going to keep you full. So um, as always, if you have any questions, please post them other, under the comment section on the video and I will answer them. Also, please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe and tell others about my channel so that I can reach more people and help more people. So um, until next time, bye.